If you're a fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show sponsored by Easton Sports. Now the man that knows more about softball than anyone on the planet, your host, Gary Leland. Hello and welcome to the Fast Pitch TV show. Now if you're watching us on YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, or another video sharing site, please check out our website. I tell you this every week. The website address is fastpitch.tv. It's the place to find all of our past episodes also the place to keep up with our future episodes. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, Easton Sports. The truth is, there is a difference. The difference is Easton. And you can check out their website at eastonsoftball.com. Now today I'm going to bring you another interview that I recorded from the World Cup last month up in Oklahoma City. And this week's interview is with Craig Montevides. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm butchering your last name, Craig, and I'm sorry. He's an American-born uh, coach. Uh, Craig helped create and set up the softball programs in Greece, where he led its national softball team en route to the Olympic Games. Then he was the field manager of the national softball team of Great Britain, which he led through 2007. Now, he is up here at the World Cup as the head coach of the team from the Netherlands. I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, he knows a little bit about softball, huh? Now, Craig is going to tell us a little bit about, uh, on this interview, he's going to tell us a little bit about international ball and uh, what it's like coaching uh, in Europe. So, well, let's just go to the interview and see for ourselves. Coach, I want to appreciate to tell you thanks for coming and joining us today. Now, I noticed you've coached for... You're from the U.S., I think. You've coached for Great Britain, you coached for Greece, and now you're with the Netherlands, am I right? Yeah, I keep moving around. Uh, it's uh, usually a question of uh, health. Um, people get sick and tired of me. <laughs> How do you get that gig doing that? That's great. I've been, I've been very fortunate. I've been in some good situations, and uh, every place I've gone, I've had the opportunity to coach some great athletes, and uh, that's just been a wonderful opportunity. Well, you've really seen softball really on a real international level. I mean, more so than a lot of people who are involved with international ball, going from team to team, playing with that many teams. Yeah, that's correct. Since, uh, I guess, 97, uh, so 12 years, different countries, different teams. I've seen the sport grow. I've seen the athletes get better, coaching get better, umpires, even the umpires get better. You know, it's been a good journey, and I think softball's heading in the right direction. How did you originally get involved in softball? Good question. Uh, actually, I was a baseball player. Like many uh, people, uh, men first involved with baseball, grew up playing baseball. And uh, one day I was asked by a softball coach if I'd come out and help his team with some of the same skills, uh, fielding skills, base running skills. And I, uh, I just really like the way the, the female athletes pursued the sport. Uh, it's more of a, a team game with them, uh, more we than I. And uh, my interest grew and I started studying the game and had to learn a lot of things about softball, different game. Uh, coaching females, totally different. Uh, but it's been, a, it's been a good challenge, and I think I've been successful. And I've, uh, again, like I said, I've had great athletes and uh, I've had a, a, a very wonderful opportunity presented to myself, and I think I've taken advantage of it. Well, I think that's uh, pretty interesting you say it's, uh, coaching is different for females because I don't think many, a lot of coaches never do get that. It's just a simple thing like it's a we instead of an I. But it is a whole different uh, a game, softball. It's not just baseball and you're coaching women. It's a whole different uh, thing. Oh, definitely. Uh, I think also as a, as a male coach, um, there's a fine line. Uh, you can't be the macho type, I think, screaming at your players. You can't be a marshmallow either, so you've got to feel the situation. It's like a butterfly. You squeeze it too tight, squeeze it to death. If you let it too loose, it flies away. And I think it's important to have female uh, assistants. Uh, we have a female physiotherapist, two female assistant coaches, because there are some things that come up that a male wouldn't think of and uh, they just can help you out on those kind of situations. How did you get involved in the international level? Um, well, coaching in the Netherlands, I started out uh, with uh, baseball as a player, moved on to baseball as a coach, uh, moved over to a trainer or uh, assistant coach with softball with the women, uh, moved up to, into a head coaching position at a club team, uh, had, su had some success, mostly because I was uh, fortunate to be with a, a good team, a good club, good sponsor, Surrounded myself with good people, good players. Um, the teams did well, and eventually, yeah, you get noticed, and uh, the head head coach position came along, and I jumped at it. 
Now I had one question. I was thinking on the way down here, I thought of this, walking down the steps. I've never been to the Netherlands, but I would imagine it's not as hot as it is here. And today is a great day compared to like Wednesday, for instance. But does that affect your team uh, being in this heat where a team from with players from, let's say, this part of the country might be more so used to the heat? Well, definitely the, the temperature here is uh, it's, it's different than a lot of places. I mean, we've been places where it's been hot, but it's quite humid here. Uh, two years ago, I was here uh, with the British team, and it, every day it was 105. We've been fortunate. Uh, I think it's tough when you play two games, and, and like we did yesterday, uh, you have to get mentally prepared. I think it's more a mental question, and I thought we did it pretty well yesterday. There have been four games in the tournament now. We've played three. It's almost like we're ready to pack our bags and go home. We uh, played two games yesterday and one this morning, so we've played three games within 24 hours. And uh, we're a young team. I'm proud of the way we've, uh, we're battling, we're learning. Uh, it's only our 13th in international game with this group. So have seen improvement and uh, good moments, uh, some other moments where we have to work on, but all in all a challenge. And um, yeah, I, th I hope that we can represent Europe in a positive way and make a contribution to softball. I have one last question, and I, I got this question watching ESPN last night. I noticed that, uh, according to them, that your players come from uh, teams from different cities and stuff. You really don't have the college program there to draw from like we do here. Um, that is, there are club teams that you draw from. Is that right? And how does that affect you on finding players? Uh, well, we have a very small pool to choose from, uh, maybe top level softball we're talking about 90 players at tops in the netherlands so that's our pool we have to choose from players between the ages of 18 and, and 30. that's one uh, a couple of players have gone to junior colleges for a season to experience that that's been good uh, the club system uh, seems to work but um, when it's not part of your culture as softball is not a sport in holland that's part of the culture it's pretty difficult having said that we do have one advantage holland's a very small country and I think our national team has the opportunity to, uh, to practice together more than most other teams. The distance from east to west is only about two and a half hours, so we meet in the middle of the country. The girls have to travel back and forth a lot during the week, but um, because of that, we're together most, uh, more often than most other teams, and uh, we try to take every disadvantage and make it an advantage. That is a big positive. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for taking the time. I know you just got through playing, and you got things to do, and you took some time, and I appreciate it, and so do my fans. No problem. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope to, hope to see you again. Thank you very much, Coach. As normal, I hope you enjoyed the interview. I personally enjoyed meeting Craig and want to say thank you for taking the time to visit with us and for doing the interview. Um, don't forget to check out our website at fastpitch.tv. Become a fan of the show at facebook.com slash fastpitchtv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash fastpitchtv. Now it's time to say goodbye. Let's end it with a word from our sponsor, Easton Sports. And thanks for watching. This bat's great. Great pop. Nice in the zone. Feels good on the hands. The sweet spot is pretty nice. Um, it's not as small as some other bats. Even if you don't hit it exactly on it, the ball still travels as far as it's supposed to.